bathroom. It's a little more casual today. I am getting ready. And this morning was one of those mornings that I had to like evaluate if the hair needed to be washed or not. And the truth is it probably does, but I just didn't want to wash it. I didn't want to wash it today. And I worked out this morning. I had it up in that ponytail that you just saw, and this is what it looks like when I take it down. Um, so I wanted to show you guys how I style my hair when it's sweaty and dirty. I washed it two days ago. I've worked out both days since washing it, and I did a sauna last night. So there's quite a bit of, of this hair is dirty. It's dirty. It's gross. But tomorrow I'm going to the hair salon and, um, you know, I just, I thought I would, I thought I would skip washing it today. So I want to show you um, what I do. Uh, so the first thing that I do is obviously take it down. This is the state that it looks like. You can see that it's a little smooth because I did dry it two days ago. When I let my hair naturally air dry, it's a little frizzy, um, but it doesn't really have a lot of curl to it. So this is what the hair looks like with just sweat and being in a ponytail. Um, so the first thing that I do is I like to comb my hair. Now I don't use a, um, I have a brush. I think I have a big paddle brush, but I don't really use it too often. I actually use combs. You guys have seen me talk about this comb. I don't even know where it's from. I think it's Conair. It's so old. This is a new comb that I recently got when I purchased the Dyson um, Air Wrap, which is actually what I'm going to use to style my hair. So I've been using this comb. I just use a really wide tooth comb. It really doesn't matter, I think, the the brand, just something that's wide. Um, now that I have my hair brushed, what I like to do is I kind of section it off. So I pull the majority of my hair up and I'm just gonna leave a section, the bottom section about this much down. Um, now you can clip it or use a, you know, use a like soft, big hair tie which is the first thing that I see, so that's what I'm gonna do. So now that I have this section, I wanna show you guys the two products that I'm gonna use to restyle my hair. Um, the first is a dry shampoo. I'm currently loving the IGK First Class um, Charcoal Detox Dry Shampoo. I really like this one a lot. So I'm gonna use this, and then I'm also gonna use the Orbe Mystifying Spray. Uh, I like to spray a little bit of this on each section, and as far as the dry shampoo, I only really like to spray this at the crown and the top of my hair. So I'm just gonna take um, this Orbe. I'm not gonna spray much, maybe just three little sprays. Um, oh, and I don't even have my air wrap ready. So I am gonna use the Dyson Air Wrap. I really like this. Um, styler. Now, when it first came out, or when I first came out, when I first purchased it, I was kind of on the fence. Um, not that I didn't think that it was a good product. It's just so expensive. So for, for the price tag, I was like, this thing really has to, I really have to see the value in it. And it took me a little while to find that value. But now I use it pretty much every time that I style my hair like this. And I use this attachment, or if I'm feeling fancy, I will use one of the curler attachments. But today is just gonna be, I just want my hair to look smooth and styled. I don't necessarily wanna do a um, you know beachy wave. So I'm gonna use this attachment and we are going to basically just dry the hair and comb through it. Now, I do like to kind of hold it at the root and hold it there for a few seconds when it's on just to allow the dryer to really dry any sweat or moisture that might be at the root. Uh, so I'm gonna turn it on and I do like to have all the settings as high as possible. Now, when I pull it out, you notice that I do kind of pull it out and, and hold it to give it a little bit of curl at the bottom, just to give it a little more volume. And that's it. It really doesn't take but a couple of seconds because the hair obviously is mostly dry. The only thing that's in there is dirt or not dirt, but sweat. Um, it only takes two seconds. I'm not really drying the hair. All I'm doing is kind of reviving it with this mystifying spray and then smoothing it out with the uh, blow dryer. So I'm going to just do that for all the sections on my hair. So I'm going to turn around and I can take big sections here because the hair again is not wet. I can take larger sections. And there we go.
The key really I want to focus on you guys is holding it at the root for a few seconds and then pulling it out and turning it down. That's really what is going to give you that like refreshed kind of blowout look. So I would say I probably do this in four or five sections, but I also have a lot of hair. So depending on how much hair you have, you might need to use more sections or less. Okay, so when I get to this point, this is where I start to see and feel um, maybe a little bit of oil at the root. So this is when I will go ahead and take my dry shampoo and just kind of spray it at the root. Um, and then what I like to do is I like to just kind of take my comb, I give it a minute or so to set, and then I just take my comb or my fingers and kind of wave, you know, blend it through the hair. I don't use a lot of it. Now I'm gonna definitely need a little bit more here at the crown of my head because that's where a lot of the sweat kind of you know, settles. Uh, okay, I'm gonna actually take this big section. I could probably section this off into two, but I'm gonna rush, so we're just gonna use this whole big section. Now what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to spray it with the mystifying spray, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and dry it, and then we're gonna add the dry shampoo. Okay, so then I take my comb and I kind of part it where I want it. I like to do a little bit of a side part. Now, to me, this looks like a freshly smoothed out, blowed out, blowout hair, doesn't it? I mean, it really just cleans it up. The, the, this product specifically really helps you kind of restyle your hair. Now, um, I don't even really know that I need the dry shampoo today, but we're gonna put a little bit. So what I like to do when I do that is really kind of just lift up at the root. Spray a little bit there. Yeah, there's definitely some oil in there. I don't want to spray too much. I feel like sometimes if you do too much, it just, throughout the day, it dries and it um, just makes it look more like oily or dirty. You know what I'm saying? I like this dry shampoo though because it has charcoal in it, so it's a really great oil absor absorbent. Um, now, another option that you can do if you like to kind of add a little more volume to the crown after you've applied the dry shampoo is um, put it on the cool setting or you can just do a cool shot. Uh, so if you wanna do a cool shot on this, basically what you do is you push this and hold it up. Yeah, and this creates cool, cooler air. So I'm just gonna hold the colder air kind of right there at the root, just to kind of dry that dry shampoo and product. So this is what the finished style looks like. I feel like it looks like a fresh blowout. It's smooth, it's got that shape down here at the bottom with the layers. Um, this took me about, I've been filming for 12 minutes. I could really do this in like four or five minutes. It's really quick and really easy. So I will have the products that I used for this in the description box below. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I do wanna show you guys how I use this tool for the curls. I don't do it too often, but I do wanna show you how I can take like sweaty, frizzy hair and turn it into to something that looks like a salon, like I just left the salon. So I will show you guys that. I was just in a bit of a rush this morning. So, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you learned anything, let me know in the comment section below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.